Hello, welcome to a very loosey goosey video. I thought I'd make about building me a little budget PC here. Now it's been a long time coming. I started it months ago. I thought I was going to build a Ryzen PC. In the end, I found I couldn't really afford to. So I went to the second hand market. And I got me mate involved as well. Uh, <laughs> he's probably wishing I never did, but I did. We started looking on marketplace for um, OEM systems and uh, we got a few between us. So I ended up getting one of these. Lenovo Think Center. Uh, it's good, but the problem is the uh, power supply was only like 160 watts. It's small form factor, which I haven't taken into account this time anyway because I've got another small form factor PC to build me a budget gaming PC. But uh, yeah, it's small form factor. It's nice. It's uh, I had a, a, a second gen core, no, a third gen core i5? Third gen core i5 in it anyway. And I will be using it uh, when I get a low, low profile graphics card. But it wasn't going to work out for me. I couldn't really mod it. I could mod it, but I wouldn't have been able to um, make most of it, as it were. But what I ended up building was um, a Core i3 system. Uh, my mate ended up, I gave him a case. It's just, it goes on and on. But um, we ended up buying multiple systems. We are probably out of pocket more. He's been out of pocket more than I was. Because I ended up buying a massive case that I didn't use because it was too big. And I've given it to him. In exchange, he gave me this uh, Logitech Pro Desk system here. So this is what it looks like currently. It's um, it's a Hewlett Packard Pro Desk 6000, and it came. Uh, my friend took out the Core i5, the fourth gen, out of it to put in his system. So I ended up buying a Core i3, 4150 for 20 quid. Um, I've got the graphics card, which is a an RX 470. I got that for £75 online, which is really good. And I already had the RAM from a previous system, it was 8 gigs of DDR3, 1600 in there. And it's running really well. Um, really, this system probably cost me, oh, and an SSD. So the SSD was 25 quid, the processor was 20 quid, the graphics card was 75. So what do you call that? It's uh, about 120 quid all in because I got the computer for free. Um, it's got a 240 watt power supply. So um, it's just on the limit of what that graphics card needs as you can see I can't put the cover on because it uh, sticks out above and I cut the back of the case I'll insert a picture here of the back of the case that I cut out but for now it's working I'm not going to leave it like this permanently I will get another case the problem is with this motherboard it takes like it's got proprietary connections otherwise I would have put this system into a bigger case earlier but it seems to be running just fine I've been playing some games like Dirt Rally um, I've been playing Unreal Tournament and various PC games and it's working good. And I'll drop in some uh, footage and show you how it's running with the uh, MSI Afterburner, showing what it can do. I did end up getting a proper motherboard and a power supply that I bought off Amazon. I got the motherboard from Neil Simpson, thanks mate. I ended up killing it with a screwdriver. I thought I was touching the pins to start it and I mustn't have been. That doesn't normally kill them but uh, this motherboard died. The processor was still fine. I've got a few processors and I've collected up a few bits and pieces now that will help me in the future when I build other computers. I had not built a computer in about five years, so it was a bit rusty, but luckily this HP Pro Desk seems to be running just fine with this RX 470 I've got. The Facebook Marketplace is a pretty good place to look for OEM systems and uh, people don't really know what they're talking about. They're the best people to hit, really. Uh, the people go, oh, I've got this computer, I've had it a while, I don't know what's in it. The likelihood is uh, you'll be able to work out from pictures what it's running. Maybe to get yourself a bargain. And the third gen and fourth gen i5 and i3 series are pretty good and match with this graphics card pretty good. And I'm pretty happy with it. I'll probably update it to a Core i5 when I've got some more money. But it's £45 for a Core i5 and uh, £20 for a Core i3. And a Core i3 seems to be just working just fine for me so far. Running two monitors and uh, I'm pretty pleased with it. Thank you.
thanks to this computer, that may look a little bit ugly, but it cost me 120 quid. I'm able to play modern PC games and edit the video you're watching right now. This has been Retro Tech 100. I'll see you next time.